Ah, hello, there you are, Dinky Doo. It's just me, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster. Just a quick lunchtime pop up on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms, to say hi to all of you and uh, to see what is what. Now, I have a big question for you today, and that is would you fight for your country? All right? And I think it's something people will be examining their conscience about very, very soon. So there you are. Would you fight for your country? All the rhetoric that's going on in the world, all the chit chat, all that sort of setup that we're getting at the moment. It's a very interesting question. Or has that ship sailed? Have we learned enough from World War One and World War Two? Right? When millions upon millions of people were just wiped off the face of the earth. Uh, no. Love not war, says Richard Mackay. A very fair point, Richard. Yes, love not war. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. You won't be expecting to see Scotty McClure popping up live on Facebook Live at this time of the day. <clears throat> but I thought I would. I had a spare five minutes and I thought I will speak to the world internationally and ask them this very important question. Would you fight for your country? So there you are. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, of course. No stranger to all of you. And lovely to be with you live on Facebook Live. There you are. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you. My country is Scotland. And I would have served 22 years in the British Army, says Brian. There we are, Brian. Excellent stuff. Thank you for everything you did for so many of us in the British Army, Brian. It's, uh, it's uh, appreciated, I can tell you that. Hi, Scotty, says John Paul Preston. Hi, John Paul, dinky do to you. Question I'm asking, guys, would you fight for your country or has that ship sailed? Has that day passed? So there we are. Yes, says Jim Clark. He would. Good for you, Jim. There you are. Excellent idea. Now, in what way, in what shape or what form would that fight take? That's what we want to know. War is pointless, says Joe Walls. The only winners are the arms dealers. Joe, I've never heard so much sense talked in all my life. I can see exactly where you're coming from. So it's not pointless if the arms dealers are making money. Uh, yes, for Scotland. So there you are. Hi, Scotty, says Anne Banks. Dinky do, Anne. Lovely to have you with us, I say. I've had quite a week of it uh, talking to one or two dafties who are anti royalist. Please, can I say to you, never, ever, 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 ever knock the royal family. They are representatives of the crown. The crown is the state. I'm all for Scottish independence. That has nothing to do with the crown. So there you are. A lot of half witted idiots cheeking up about the royal family. And I have to say to you, stop being a half witted idiot. Support your royal family. Support our sovereign lady, the queen. So there you are. Read the whole comment. Not half of it. Well, you see, Brian, I've got see more on it here. And I don't really want to lose the broadcast. No, I can't read the whole comment. You have to put bits of it. I'll try it. There we are. Right. There we are. Um, not half. My country is Scotland. And I absolutely would. Yes, we understood that, Brian. You said that the first time. And you did 22 years in the British Army. Um, I would die for Scotland, Scotty. So John Paul Preston, hopefully John Paul Preston, it would never actually come to that. We're not really wanting people dying for Scotland. People have in the past. There's been enough of that. But Scotland's a peaceful nation and uh, sits around the table and discusses. Shout out, Scotty Brawl, says Fraser Scott. Dinky do, Fraser. Future war won't be fought by conscripted soldiers, but through attacks on critical infrastructure through the internet. Coders are the real soldiers. Now, William O'Neill, a very, very interesting point. I was going to ask about that. Would the next war be a war of words conducted over the internet? You'll see I've actually said that on my Periscope broadcast, which I've just finished doing. Uh, so there you are. Uh, that's uh, a very, very good comment. If anybody would like to discuss that, feel free to let us know. Type in what you're thinking about it. This is just a quick pop-up. Scotty McClue, just for you, the world's top broadcaster saying dinky-doo. And uh, the question we're asking today is, would you fight for your country if it came to the bit? And, of course, what would that involve? Uh, I'm not half-witted. I'm not a monarchist. I suggest royalists are the ones who are challenged. 
Now, <coughs> Royalists are never challenged because they know exactly what they're doing, Brian. Loyalty to the Crown will mean we will not lose Scottish independence. But if you take up against the Crown, Scottish independence will go into the long grass forever and a day, and it will be your fault. Okay, so think on. Uh, so there we are. Um, very, very important. There's no challenge, Royalists. The Royalist knows what they are doing. They are supporting their country. They are supporting their monarch. They are supporting the crown. That is the big thing. That is the symbol of a free world. All right. Man doesn't own land. Land owns man. I truly love my beautiful motherland, Scotland. So there you are. So, Brian, uh, you're saying you're not half-witted, but you need to work out why then are you uh, against the crown, okay? Especially if you fought for it. Uh, shout out to everybody, dinky-doo, from me, Scotty McClure. Lovely to see you all, of course. And um, that's it. Would you fight for your country? What would that involve? What would you be willing to do? Or has that ship sailed? Have we learned enough from the First World War and the Second World War to say, no, 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 we're not getting involved in squabbles with politicians, all right? Also, do you think we should cancel Brexit um, as soon as? Do you think somebody's made a massive mistake there? I was reading uh, the pamphlet how the government strongly advises us to stay in Europe, and now they've changed. I never fought for the crown. I thought you said you did 22 years in the British Army, Brian. Are you telling me whoppers? Pinocchio. So there we go. Um, excellent stuff. So why did you say that? If you look back at your comments, I'm sure it says 22 years as a British soldier. All right? So that's where I was coming from, Brian. Anyway, hopefully you'll, you'll um, support the monarchy and defend the monarchy. It's very, very important and allow Scotland to get its independence, not to mix these two things up. One is a parliament, the other is the crown. The union of the crowns, the monarchy is a Scottish institution. The crowns were united in 1603. The parliaments were united in 1707. Um, I'm too old to fight now. I applied for the army but didn't make the cut. Depends what you uh, applied for. Like somebody was asking me, would I fight? It's unlikely I'd be leading an infantry regiment. Uh, so there we go. Um, yes, breaks that should be cancelled. We were all lied to. Absolutely, Lynn. And always with these people that go, oh, that's what you voted for. No, 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 no. We, that's not what we voted for. Uh, some people voted for it. I was in the army. I never fought for the Queen. I never defended the monarchy. If you were in the army, you were fighting for the Queen. She is your commanding officer, and you would be defending the monarchy by being in the army. So there you go, Brian. That's it, I'm afraid. You've got to suck it up, old boy. Uh, right. Um, he says he never fought for the crown, but of course you did, Brian. What on earth did you think you were doing? You swore an oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen, her heirs and successors. So there you go. That's And that's what we should all be doing. That should be absolutely mandatory in this country. That should be the first thing that you do. I'll just put the Gregory Pecks on to see what else is coming up here. So there we are. So you'd like Brexit to be cancelled. That's a good thing. We like that. Uh, we'd be the new dad's army, Scotty. I didn't make it because I took an asthma attack and I didn't even know I had asthma. Scotty, do beef eaters really eat beef? every day. John Paul Preston, I don't know, there's confusion you see by some people. What what you call the beef eaters might actually be the yeoman of the guard. So there we are. They're very important. They're effectively um, a regiment, the Roman of the the yeoman of the guard. The <laughs> Roman of the guard. The yeoman of the guard. Uh, so that they are different from the beef eaters. I don't know if they do eat beef every day. They maybe have to as part of it for signing up. Somebody will tell us. We've probably got a beef eater watching. Don't panic, says Alan Ward. Don't panic. There's a stupid boy. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Right. I will push off, guys. This was just a little treat for you. And we will catch up soon, no doubt. But ponder on that question. Would you fight for your country? This is Scotty McClure saying thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon. Dinky-doo.